And fuel is flowing at gas stations across the southeast and here in our area. This is a live look at a Shell gas station right now. You can see some folks waiting in line. Well, the headache isn't over for drivers just yet. Some gas stations are already running low on supplies. And as the long lines continue, gas stations are doing their best to keep up with the demand. It is, is a task. Mm. CBS 17's Holden Kariki joining us live at the Rosemart Shell on Six Forks Road in Raleigh. Holden, there's been a line of callers all morning long. What's going on now? Well, Randy, Liz, they actually got gas here at the Rosemart Shell along Six Forks about 7 a.m. this morning, but it's only the 87 octane. There is no premium gas. But I spoke with the ship supervisor who told me that after two days of the tanks being dry, it's better than nothing. I'm on the half a tank. <laughs> a Husky native, Roger Holloman, is keeping his spirits high even as his gas gauge starts running low. <sighs> I've been riding for about 30, about 30 minutes now trying to find gas. When he came across this line at the Rosemart Shell on Six Forks Road, this is, this is one of the shortest lines I've seen here. Holloman says he felt like he struck liquid gold in the form of 87 octane. All the rest of them would be quarter mile or mile up the road just to get, just to get in the gas station. You can pull it right up there. To keep the flow of cars steady to the pumps, Supervisor Taylor Brown jumped into action and started directing traffic. It makes the cars smoother up here and it keeps people from fighting. While she admits things have been a bit crazy over the last few days. Someone cussed me out and we have to call the cops, but it happens. Some people are like that. Brown says she's determined to smile through the shortage as she offers some advice to short-fused drivers. Don't fill up just because you see gas. I mean, it's, we're going to have gas. Like, people keep getting gas. It's, calm down and get it whenever you need it, not every time you see it. If you got some, you better conserve it. Don't I can say. Brown told me that while they are getting shipments of gas, they are trying to spread them out across their stations. That way they can kind of spread out the demand across all of Wake County. Now, the good news here is she says she expects all of their pumps to be back up and running at full capacity by the end of the weekend. Reporting live in Raleigh, Holden Kerwicki, CBS 17 News.